Yeah, yeah, they're already they're already like, what are you guys doing? Yeah, yeah. Kind of calling to each other. Throw it down, we'll use it as a bridge. There you go. Go ahead, you walk across. Okay, we'll sit it down. Yeah, there you go. Just walk across with it. Yep. You got it. Learning your ladder <laughs> carrying skills. <laughs> bridge making. That'd be funny if someone fell in. Oh, yeah, jump, you know. You guys could jump across, right? <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Then you could use that one there or, you know, jump. Oh, no. Uh-oh. <laughs> you know we're live on Facebook right now, Lydia, right? <laughs> we wouldn't want to see you fall in the ditch, right? I got my cell phone in my pocket. I don't think that'd be good. Yeah, the marsh is pretty firm, you know? Yeah, your shoes will just get a little wet. Walking across with Ben's camera. It's not even muddy. With his phone. Yeah, right? It's a lot of right. cross. That's a lot of trucks. That's in a light proof case at least, you know. Yeah. My shoes well, are really gonna smell. I've crossed a lot of ladders what? then. I said my shoes are really gonna smell. No, they won't. <laughs> yes they will. Yeah. They'll, they They'll will. smell good. A vinegar bath. Oh. And bright sunshine. All right. That's how you fix. Mark shoes. Can you switch it like that? Like go from side to yes, and then automatically in there. Really? Yeah, and we can get in a little better here. Yeah, look at how flat they stay. They're basically, yeah, they pretty much just play dead. They're basically playing dead. What we don't want is we don't want these guys to stand up. That's yeah, they won't. a little they're bit dicey. As you can see. They're, they're at the age where they won't really stand up or anything. They're still a little bit small. But we move slowly. Yeah, I'd say these guys are probably like five weeks old. And quietly. Yeah. Here come the bands. You're watching Ben Worst, the Osprey Hero, live. Broadcasting from the salt marsh. Should even look up too. Give the view the of the LBI adults out of here. And love ladies on Long Beach Island. The this adults. is the last little bit of salt marsh we've got left on this island. And it's lovingly yep. preserved here. Can you hear those guys screaming at us and gals? All kinds of sights and sounds up there. Yeah, they're not getting very close either. So this is amazing. I was a little nervous coming up here. You never know what you're going to find. And if it was always good news, there'd be no reason to do osprey surveys. But sometimes Ben finds preventable problems. Yeah, look how clean this nest is. Why don't you leave them alone? You guys take, take good care of your salt marsh here, Lydia. Put cameras in their faces. Well, the thing is, what? here What's in it? New Jersey, we banned our osprey with yep. a federal ban and a field readable auxiliary ban. On Barnegat Bay. On Barnegat Bay. And that allows us to study the population and to yep. understand where they go Their when foraging they leave habits. and where they come back to. Site fidelity. Site fidelity. How many big leave, words. how many come back. Because the raw number of chicks that the island or the bay manages to produce 
simply isn't enough information in restoring the population. Remember, this is a species that we decimated through DDT and the poisoning of the bay. And now we're working to bring them back. And all of the only reason these osprey are here today is because humans intervened, took a chance, took some eggs, built some platforms, got mm -hmm. some chicks going, and boosted this population. And the work that Ben does is a continuation of that, an important continuation of that. This species isn't out of the water. So I know it might look like we're just coming and messing around with some wild animals that would be fine without us, but I don't think that's true at all. We're going to change their mind afterwards to see that we're not causing them any harm. How are so they here. acting up there? Are they like pretty tall? Yeah, there's one right here. See it? There's one right here. It's camouflage. Yeah, I, you could probably see them a little bit, but if you're if you stand too close, then you won't. You kind of might need to stand back a little bit. But yeah, they're just laying here. They're playing dead. They're pretty calm. We are her. Everyone looks fine. Ben's going as fast as he can, and the parents are annoyed. But honestly, out in this salt marsh, there's people walking their dogs every day, and it causes an equal amount of disturbance. Jet skis pull up along the marsh here. People set their minnow traps. For and they set their minnow traps <laughs> right here. And the same thing happens over and over and over again every yeah. day. With Ospreys no can tolerate some disturbance. The other thing you have to remember coming up here is that we're looking at all good news, but it's not always good news. Sometimes we're untangling a baby osprey mm -hmm. that's potentially going to strangle itself in a mylar balloon or a piece of fishing line or a piece of trash. Speaking of which, Ben, this is a really can, clean, yeah, I know. I know a beautiful already. nest. Nice and flat, lots of eelgrass. Oh, oh, well, oh, oh. Where to ask you. Oh, yeah. Everywhere. So, Ben, you want to talk a little bit about the banding? Yeah, I already put on the federal band. It goes on the left leg, and then we have the red band here, which pretty much only put on the right leg. So maybe it goes back to my boating experience here, red right returning. So I've got to answer a question real quick. You're gonna answer it? Right. Yeah, there's Yeah, uh, if there's any, let me know. I there's, can answer. There's no concern at all about the adults rejecting them. Oh no. Yeah, the old wives tale or myth oh, oh. of uh, you know of, of uh, adults abandoning their young it's anywhere of any species true. of bird. Yeah, it's not true. Even if a bird would fall out of its nest, you could put it back. But every, you know, so, I, I grew up with people go, telling guys. me that, and I believed it for years. I'm not a bird guy, I'm not a scientist. Oh, you're playing. But I've been, oh, we have a feisty one. Yeah, right. It's a little guy. Osprey in your face. It's the little guy, Jim. Okay, yeah. All right. Oh, look at him. gonna hang there and watch so yeah the bands are sized to fit them as an adult both male and female are the same Ben's got a problem over here we got an yeah, osprey, right? got an osprey <laughs> gone rogue Sonny's coming over here to say hi you know, they're too young to fly they will not jump they've never been off the ground so I'm not worried well, about that guy going anywhere we have a chance of getting a pin feather shot if I can get in there Gotta twist the camera. Bands are very lightweight. It's just like wearing a ring. So they barely even notice they're even on. So it's funny though, it seems like the runt is always the one to kind of stand up. Be a little more aggressive, if you want to call it that, but the guy's not gonna try and bite me or <laughs> call me or... Ben's got a friend. Yeah, right, yeah. I mean, I've been working with Ospreys oh. for over 10 years, so I know how to... Ben, he's right you know. in your GoPro, too. Well, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> well, you, that's it. Ben yeah, you Ospreys just is right in Ben's GoPro. Ben yeah. will have some epic uh, footage after the show. I mean, uh, you yeah, folks these guys... Should, you folks should be throwing out some names. We have three what? unnamed Osprey up here. <laughs> Figured you would name them. <laughs> no a trio's good. 
The parents are named Jack and Wendy. So and a lot of people never the got the reference, version. but they're named after the movie The Shining yeah, because yeah. they're they're one of the, the most dysfunctional couples in <laughs> movie history. Benji, Oscar, George, names are rolling in. Benji. <laughs> I'll tell you a quick story about this nest. One of the reasons this nest is so uh, such a favorite of, of Ben's and mine too is that for a long time it was unproductive. Uh, we couldn't figure out why. And so one spring, Ben gave me a mission to come out here and figure it out. Mm -hmm. I lived out here in a blind and I watched their behavior and what we found out was Jack was a selfish pig. Uh, Osprey rely on the male to feed the family 100%. The female yep. stays at the nest, the chick stays at the nest, the male has to go out and get all of the food. And in order for them to mate successfully, sorry, just checking the osprey. In order for them to mate successfully, the male has to prove that he can do the job. And Jack was coming home with his little fish and hovering over it and uh, doing a behavior called mantling, basically protecting his fish and not sharing it. And it was only when he learned to, to share. Yeah, we that learned that he's a, he's a teenage osprey, yeah. or he was. Uh, well, we don't really know. Because they're not banded, you know. The names are just rolling it's in. Hard we're gonna, to, we're it's hard 3, to. It's hard to. Thousand uh, names to choose yeah, right. from. We're gonna get a pin feather shot here. You see those beautiful blue shafts? Yeah, it's the flight feathers there. The flight feathers are growing out of those. They actually supply blood. I mean, that's, yeah. To well, the feather. Or the tail feathers. Yeah, there's the flight feathers coming in there. You can see the buff feather tips. So well, I'm pretty much done. All right, I think we're done here. Besides, uh, you know, taking their, their photos here, the bands. In case we get a resighting, oh, I like to show photos of the chicks after they were banded. Speaking of which, because I'm going to set this down, try to get a photo myself. Each one of these three beauties. Daryl, Daryl, and Daryl, excellent suggestion, <laughs> sir. <laughs> here, I can even. I think here, we I have a winner. Like oh, yeah. Let's flip this back around here. So I'm just wrapping up here. Grab the camera. So I hope everybody's kind of been having fun watching us here work. It's nice uh, to have this privilege here to be able to share this with you. So I'm just going to take some pictures here of these chicks. And then uh, we're going to be uh, getting out of here to let Jack and Wendy get back to, to what they're doing. Fourteen D here doesn't really want to show me his band. No, I got it. Fifteen. Can I like go and run up the ladder? Yeah, yeah, that's a yeah, definitely. Yeah, wait. Yeah. So here's. 15D there. Run up your ladder. Look it up. Don't take one. Take a peek. So here's the here's the youngest one here. Mm -hmm. Just kind of laying down there. Fix its head. Put their legs back. So definitely nice to see a nice clean nest. Not much trash at all. So pretty much uh, tells a pretty good story here of how LBIF is